Hey everybody, you have Tashua Miller. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. And today is another Queen Time video where we're gonna talk about the author, me, and answer your rapid fire questions. Queens, Queens. I'm coming straight out to NYC. Queens, Queens. Number one, what's your favorite color? My favorite color, I would have to say, is teal. I just love the green and blues mixed together. Any different shade, it could be darker, it could be lighter, just makes my heart purr. Number two, while writing, what type of music do I like to listen to? So, I would have to say rock. Now, I'm going to narrow it down not to one song, but to one singer, Nickelback. So the band Nickelback, I just think, has so much variety. You can do something that's romantic. You can do something that's drama. You can do something with fighting scenes. They are just someone that I love listening to. Number three, what type of books do I like? So I love fantasy books and to dive into people's work and just lose myself. I am really drawn to paranormal romance. Hint, hint, that's quite, uh, kind of why I wrote in that. But it can't just be lovey-dovey or nothing but sex all the time. I love action. I love a purpose for the story. Yeah, you know, we all have our naughty sides and we go towards different things. But I really love when a story is connected and there's a reason for these two people coming together. But I've also read stories where there's no romance and I love them too. That's just the ones I'm more drawn to uh, of course, I'm a girl, right? <laughs> Number four, if you had to choose one author, who would you choose? So, the one author I would choose just because she is amazing and she's the reason why I started reading because I loved her story so much is Janine Frost. And you guys probably already knew that because I mentioned her several times. Um, and the back cover, the little quote at the very top of my book is actually inspired by her book. So um, that's probably not a surprise to the people that watch me very often. But if you haven't read her stories, definitely check them out. It's amazing. I love of the romance, the action, and just the connection with the characters. And the worlds, of course, that she creates are fabulous. Number five, if you could travel into any book world, where would you go? All right, so this one, I would have to choose Kim Harrison, the Hollows novel. Uh, I just love the world she created. I love the craziness of it all. There's magic everywhere, and I think it's fantastic. I'm, I'm a human, so I probably wouldn't survive, but in her world, catch-up is like a thing in the past you don't they don't serve ketchup anymore because uh tomatoes were exiled because they killed so many humans and so they use like carrot sauce you know it's it's a crazy world and I, and I just I love it I love the main character I love their little fights and investigations there's demons witches pixies vampires I just love that world and I would definitely want to visit number six would you rather be a vampire or a witch? I'd rather be a witch. Now, if you would have asked me maybe 10 years ago, I would probably would have said vampire because I love vampires. I love reading about them. But if I had to choose between a witch and a vampire, I think I'm more fascinated with witches these days. Number seven, what book are you reading right now? Okay, the book that I'm reading right now is a Dark Fay FBI agent series, and it is by C. N. Crawford and Alex Rivers. I just love this book, you guys. I am such a big fan of Criminal Minds on TV, and this book is basically just like that with uh, some magic thrown into it, some fantasy. So if you love that show and you love like a, be a behavior analysis type of thing, it is such a good book or a good series. I'm on the very last one that's written so far and it's awesome. I'm hoping that there's more. If there isn't, I'm going to be sad, but I definitely recommend them and it is a fabulous read. Number eight, how many books do you think is going to be in your series? What I'm planning is at least four. Now, if a lot of people like them and I get a lot of great feedback, then I might even go further. But right now, I'm 
hoping for fourth. Number nine, what inspired you to create The Smokiest Grave? So The Smokiest Grave was actually, it was supposed to be a short story. So I created something a while ago and I just didn't do it right. I just didn't take the time and I tried to shove everything all at once and it just didn't work out. I got frustrated, overwhelmed, and I put it to the side. So I decided to make this short story of a dream that I had of everything in tan and these people getting turned into mindless zombies, um, basically, and I just went from there. And once I started writing, I fell in love with the story. I fell in love with the characters. So I was that's how the smokiest grave became what it is is just from a crazy idea that I had number 10 are you ever going to write a different series so I have thought about this a lot and I actually have some crazy ideas going on so yes I will definitely probably write a different series the one that I put to the side I might even go back to it and make that a series because it was initially supposed to be a series but like I said I got frustrated with it and put it to the side so I do think that there is going to be more than just the unnatural series but the unnatural series is my baby right now and I gotta focus on my babies <laughs> Alrighty, that's all I have for you today, my beautiful people. Thank you so much for asking these questions. I know that I didn't get to all of them, but I am going to, I promise. Um, this is just another Queen Time video. I wanted to give you 10 of these awesome questions you were asking, and I will still go and answer all of them either through the email, through my Twitter account, through my Tumblr account. Um, you guys are welcome to contact me and answer ask me anything. If I can't figure out the answer, I will find the answer for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. You are welcome to go get the smokiest grave at Amazon.com. Um, if you do, please, please leave me a, um, a review. Reviews are very important for authors. Thank you so much for the people that have already left me a review. And you guys have a great Friday. Bye.